Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Mastra AI. So I'm going to create a new video in the MCP playlist. We already have six different videos in the MCP playlist. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can use an MCP through an open source agent framework named Mastra AI. It's built in TypeScript. So if you are someone who has been working with JavaScript or TypeScript in general, you, know, you can uh, use Mastra AI, open source uh, agent framework in TypeScript, uh, you know, that you can build AI assistants, RAG, observability uh, based solutions, uh, different workflows, supports any LLM, supports Olama, GPT-40, Claude, Gemini, so on and so forth, right? So it's an open source framework. And now we're gonna look at how we can uh, use an MCP server uh, through this MCP client, Mastra AI. We have been using Claude and Windsurf and others uh, so far, but we're gonna use Mastra AI in this video. So if you look at here on my screen, it says Mastra AI, Mastra already has more than 11,000 stars. It's fantastic, right? Uh, it's a TypeScript framework. If you are somebody who is a Python guy, you might find a bit of learning curve with, uh, with Mastra, but it's really easy to use. I wanna show you that uh, you need Node.js, as a prerequisite and you can work with any kind of models okay uh, to work with now this is how you can create a simple simple you know project within uh, using mastra ai so you, you can see it says what do you want to name your project let's say i want to name it my mastra app Okay, now it's gonna create the project. It's installing the NPM dependencies. Uh, if you're running it for the first time, you might not have Mastra installed. That might take a bit of time. You can see it says installing Mastra, right, with, for this project. So it does a lot of installations. It asks you some questions to configure the project and make your project ready, uh, where you can, you know, you write some kind of MCP server or use some kind of MCP server. We're gonna use Tavili MCP. So if you don't know what Tavili is, Tavili is, uh, you know, uh, information discovery uh, tool that helps you discover information from internet using their API. It's just, just like SOP API, SOP Dev, and Publicity API. You have Tavili that you can get uh, free APIs to use for, I think, 1000 search or something. And you can use that, uh, their MCP. So I'm going to use Tavili MCP uh, through this client, an open source client called Mastra AI. So that's what I'm going to do. Now you can see it's installing right now. I already have installed, so I'll just go here and simultaneously show you something. Now, let me just come over here, guys. Okay. Now, once you install it, right, this is how the project folder, it's a, as I said, right, it's a JavaScript, it's a TypeScript based uh, a project. So you will have your node modules that will have all the installed dependencies, packages and whatnot. Then you will have a source folder, SRC folder. And in the SRC, you will have agents, tools, workflows, whatever you configure through here, uh, you know, you will have it over here. And within the tools, you can find out uh, there is an index.ts within the tools, and then there is an index.ts TypeScript within the root directory. Within the agents, you have two different files, and that's what we are interested in. Index.ts, you will not have this file. So I have created this file, mcpagents.typescript. I'm gonna show you that. But let me first, okay, now you can see it says where's where should we create the master files? So let's keep it SRC. You want agent. I'm going to do yeah, agent and workflows. I need both. And let's say a, a, add tools. Yes. It says select default provider. Open AI is recommended. I'm going to say skip for now. Add example. Yes. And uh, let's say make your AI add into master expert. Skip for now. Okay. Let's initialize master, initializing master. Now, once you initialize that, it will create a project for you. So let's go into my Mastra app, okay? And I'm gonna just do code dot, show you in the VS code uh, simultaneously, just to walk you through. Now, once you install Mastra and configure it, this is how it looks like, right? You will have an SRC folder. Within the SRC folder, you will have agents, tools, and workflows, three different folder. And then the, there is a driver file, which is index.ts. Now within the agents, you can find out an index.ts that has a default weather agent. You can see there's a default weather agent that they're using and this weather tool. So if you come to tools, you can find out, you know, this weather tool is defined there and you can build your own tools, right? And use that within the agents. Now I'm just gonna show you that and workflow, you have again, some weather workflows that you want to orchestrate some kind of workflows. But here you can create, let's say an MCP agent. 
something like that, right? MCP, you can create your own MCP server or you can also use some server. Now in the MCP agent. So this is how the folder looks like. I will close the VS code and we'll go back to Windsurf. Now, if you look at here on Windsurf, I had agents and I created this file called mcpagents.ts. Now I'm using OpenAI, but you can use Olama, you can use Gemini, you can use whatever you want to use. It's supported by MCP uh, Maestra, excuse me. Now, now, if you look at here, right, uh, within the agents and MCP agents, I have my ENV file where I have kept my OpenAI and Tavili both uh, or within this .env. And you can see we are using some kind of, this is fine. You know, you are using Tavili MCP. You can search on internet, Tavili MCP. And when you search it, you can find out, yeah, this is the Tavili MCP server that you see. They have the documentation as well how you can use it through NPM. You can see I'm using through NPM. Uh, it takes you to their uh, package manager. You can see NPM JS, you can read more about it. So this is what I'm gonna use Tavili MCP server, right? Just to do web search. Now come here, we are using uh, this simple agent. You can see MCP agent, the name, agent capable of performing web searches. You know, it has access to tools, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and using GPT-40 model, and then just load the tools and attach them to the agent. So you can see this is what we do, and this is just exporting the agent. Now if you go to index.ts, we have to import that agent that we created. So you can see import MCP agent, and then just re-export the MCP agent. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. You come here and just do npm run dev. Now, the moment you do npm run dev, it's gonna uh, show you, of course, a local host. You can see it says playground available at local host this, and the swagger is available at this. So it can also use through backend server. So I'm just gonna, or let me just copy. Why, why can't we just copy it, right? Let me just, uh, let me just copy this thingy. You can see it says Tavili MCP server running on standard input output, right? So I'm just gonna come because that's what it's built on. It's built on JSON RPC. Uh, I explained that in the first first uh, video. You can see the MCP agent. We have one agent, the MCP agent. You can find it out here. It says, "How can I help you today?" You know, you have instructions, endpoints. You know, if you go to endpoints, you can find out all the endpoints over here, guys. For this, you have log drains, and Master is fantastic. If you are someone who has been working with the TypeScript, JavaScript kind of a thingy, you you can use this, right? Which is really good. You have tools, workflows, you can see MCP agent tools. We have Tavili search, Tavili extract. On the workflows, I don't have any workflows, but you can create your own workflows over here as well. Uh, come to agent, go to MCP agent. Let's say, uh, give me a report on, on the latest Thailand uh, earthquake, right? There was a... There was an earthquake, guys, in that part of the world, in Myanmar and Thailand, right? And you can see it says use tool. So it has been using the Tavili search. You know that we have we have been created the MCP for that. You can see it says a powerful 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake. Blah blah blah. Casualties, you know, comes up over here. Current situations, and it gives you this, right? Fantastic. So how how good it is, right? We are now. Built using this uh, Tavili MCP Tavili search MCP server through Mastra MCP client. We're not using Claude. We're not using like Windsurf or whatever. This is a new introduction that I wanted to do that how we can use Mastra with uh, Tavili MCP, and you can use any other MCP server as well within within this. You can create n number of it. So if you go to let's say go to tools. And you can find out MCP agent tools, right? If you come to agents, you can create multiple agents and which model that it uses over here. You can see that. You go and create your own MCP servers. I have shown in the video that how we, you can create your own, like LinkedIn. In the in one of the videos, I've shown how to fetch LinkedIn profiles. In one of the videos, I've shown how to fetch weather details, you know, and how to crawl internet and so on and so forth. So you can bring all of those over here, you know, like bring Playwright, uh, bring Tavili MCP is already there, bring LinkedIn APIs, bring whatever you want to bring it okay within this master tool so uh, i'll give the link in description for this open source uh, identity framework that also has support to mcp servers it's really good and you can self host this as well through docker and whatnot right and i'll give this uh, as well if you want 
uh, on my GitHub repository. Feel free to use it. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to create some crazy stuff, guys, on MCP. I'm also creating videos on observability, security, and privacy concerns related to MCP. And I'm writing a, a small white paper on that. So I'm also going to show you uh, very soon. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks on Maestra AI and how you can use uh, MCP server within Maestra, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. Please hit the like icon if you like the content. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.